So these are some of the pros and cons of my functional muscle training program. Let's see if it's for you. So in case you don't know, my functional muscle program is a monthly subscription. It just keeps rolling on. And in that month, you go through various phases based around what I consider the most important and most effective training methods. Functional strength training, functional bodybuilding, traditional strength, and some traditional kind of bodybuilding work mixed in with some uh, high intensity and some basic fitness work. Right, so one of the main problems with uh, I think people find with the program is it's hard. There are a lot of supersets. Uh, the exercise selection doesn't really leave you any place to hide in the workouts. Now, some phases are a little bit easier than others, but generally, it's a tough program. So, if you don't want to work hard, then it's definitely not the program for you. It sometimes can be seen as a little bit more technical than a lot of the exercises you would usually see in the gym. And this is for a reason. This is a three-dimensional world, and the movements we should do in the gym should have some reflection on the way we actually move and that we actually perform in the real world. So the training, in essence, has all the benefits of the regular lift you would see in the gym, and many more beyond that that make it much more applicable and for your strength to have real usability in this real world. Third thing people might struggle with is there are lots of workouts every month. There's between 18 to 20 workouts. And again, this is for a reason because you, you really need to be working out around about four times a week. And the way the workouts are split is they are split in such a way with this volume that you can safely and comfortably spread all the things that you need to do, like strength, power, speed, mobility, aerobic fitness, anaerobic fitness, safely through the month and the only way to do that is to have a lot of volume and plus that volume will give you the results so let's go on to more of the pros first one is it's enjoyable the workouts are although they have a fair bit of repetition it's a challenging kind of repetition you get comfortable with the same variations of exercises and there's a kind of uh, um because of that frequency and the way that the workouts are delivered in the app it will show you what you've done on this lift previously and what to expect and what to do to beat it. So there's a kind of a measurability to the workouts where you can get that constant sense of progression. And it's enjoyable from a sense of the exercises are challenging. And if you enjoy a challenge, then you will enjoy the exercises. You're not gonna hide behind any exercise. Second thing which people enjoy is the sense of physicality that you get from the program. The workouts and the exercises are designed, like I said, to reflect those things we covered most out of health and fitness, athleticism, speed, strength, power, explosiveness, uh, strong core, good muscle mass. And these are the things that people really want and appreciate. And that's why they take a, uh, a center stage in the pro. And the last thing I've kind of mentioned it already is the sense of progression that you get with the program. Because we don't switch from one thing to the next to keep switching you're always working in those three primary kind of modes of training functional strength traditional strength and that mix between traditional and uh, non-traditional hypertrophy or building exercises and because you stick into those three kind of patterns although you have different movements you get a real sense of progress and direction with the program it's not as if we're going from one thing this and then you lose it completely and then you, while you do something else, you come back to it and feel like, it's, oh, I feel like I've never done this before. There's always a sense of progression.